In the tropical sea, we can find an incredible variety of forms, shapes, and colors. Most of these unusual forms inhabit the water column and are part of the life cycles of many marine invertebrates, as eggs, larvae, juveniles, or adults. In fact, larval development of most marine invertebrates includes a plantic larval stage, but the majority of these larval forms are unknown, even to marine biologists. With a simple zooplankton tail, we can get hundreds of larvae of several different phyla. This highlights the incredible diversity in the ocean and how common larval development is across many phyla. One of the weirdest types of larvae is that of sipunculids. Sipunculid worms inhabit rock crevices, coral fragments, and soft sediments. They lack segmentation and have an introvert that, when retracted, makes the worms look like peanuts, hence their common name, peanut worms. Peanut worms are free spawners, with the exception of a few species with direct development, meaning they release a cloud of gametes and fertilization takes place in the water column. The first larval form is a trochophore, common with other animals and with mollusks, which then metamorphoses into unique larval form, the Pelagus fura. The Pelagus fura has three visible regions, the head, the mid-region and the trunk. The cilia, moving in the interior part of the head, presumably participate in the feeding on suspended particles, though no one knows the mechanism of capturing these particles. The mid-region has their swimming feature, a ciliary band called metatroch. Also, the head and mid-region can be quickly withdrawn if the larva is disturbed. Pelagus fura larvae are known to remain in the plankton for six to seven months. Hence, they can disperse over great geographical areas. Epa! Epa! That's one of the reasons why larvae do matter. Stay tuned for more weird invertebrate larvae videos.